You must have heard about the seven wonders of the world, but have you ever thought about the other wonders that go unnoticed? The world has so much to offer, we might actually be ungrateful. There are places so strange and breathtaking that even scientists don't have any explanation for them. And when even a scientist cannot explain something, he says it's fake. There are many places and natural phenomena that people think are fake because they are just too strange. But we're here to tell you that they are very real. So let's look at 10 incredible natural phenomena that you think are fake. But before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe! Number 10. The Giant's Causeway Starting with one of the weirdest sights, if you think it isn't real, then you're in for a surprise. The Giant's Causeway is an area of about 40,000 interlocking basalt columns. Causeway Coast is a spectacular geological area. It lies at the foot of the basalt cliffs along the sea coast on the edge of the Antrim Plateau in Northern Ireland. 60 million years ago, a huge volcanic eruption spewed out a mass of molten basalt, which then solidified and contracted as it cooled, creating the cracks that can be seen today. There are an estimated 37,000 polygon columns at this World Heritage Site, so geometrically perfect that local legend has it that they were created by a giant. The dramatic site has inspired legends of giants striding over the sea to Scotland. Geological studies of these formations over the last 300 years have greatly contributed to the development of the Earth sciences. Number 9. The Fog Tsunami from the start, this amazing sight resembles a huge tsunami rolling in from the sea, yet it's really a gigantic measure of mist and fog. At the point when the conditions are perfect in pre-summer or late spring, the buildup from warm air converging with cool seawater can make the sensational impact. From far away, it may look like a tsunami, but up close you'll be able to note that it's just a huge roll of fog. These can be harmful only if you see it approaching and head into it, as you will be clueless about your whereabouts and directions. Other than that, this is a completely harmless. Other than that, this is completely harmless and is wondrous phenomenon if you ever get to experience one. Number 8. Tall Lake This one is a particular site for sore eyes, but as we said, don't be fooled by the beauty of these lakes. Tall is one of the three biggest lakes in the Philippines and the volcanic crater was formed some 500,000 years ago. This is a lake which is inside a volcano which has another volcano inside, with a lake inside and in the middle of that lake, there's a little island. So what could be so devastating and horrifying about it? How about the fact that in 1911, approximately 1,300 people lost their lives during the volcanic eruption from inside the lake. Tsunamis swept the coast near the lake and the land was destroyed. Tall is one of the most carefully monitored seismic locations in the Philippines, but does that stop people from building houses near it? Hell no! The real estate market seems to be booming. During the volcanic eruption at the beginning of this year, the authorities acted fast and evacuated the population. Number 7. Boiling Lake This lake is so unreal that scientists are still scratching their heads trying to complete the mystery of this lake. Almost in the center of the Montois Pitons National Park, which is in the southeast of the Caribbean island of Dominica, is one of the strongest points on the planet. There is a boiling lake whose huge gray fumarole attracts many tourists to this point. At 200 feet wide, the boiling lake is considered the second largest spring in the world, second only to the frying pan of New Zealand. But this one is so mysterious that not much has been known about it, yet it attracts a lot of tourists. This boiling lake condition could be due to the fact that it is a hydrothermal volcano, and along with other geysers in the area, give fame to the nearby Desolation Valley one of the most easily explored volcanic areas in the Caribbean. The sulfurous gases of the boiling lake, the vapors of the springs, and the jungle-like landscape of the park give the place a typical atmosphere of mystery. Due to its unique characteristics, the Montois Pitons National Park was declared a World Heritage Site in 1997, and rightly so. Number 6. Thor's Well Sitting on the edge of the Oregon coast near Cape Perpetua, a gaping, seemingly bottomless sinkhole swallows the unbroken stream of seawater around it. Thor's well is not actually bottomless, but it is very dangerous. The well is also known as the drainpipe of the Pacific for obvious reasons. It is actually a hole in the rock that only appears to drain water from the ocean. According to some researchers, the well probably started out as a sea cave dug out by the waves, before the roof eventually collapsed and created openings at the bottom and top through which the ocean sprays. 
The huge hole is likely only around 20 feet deep, but it still manages to produce amazing sights. In rough conditions at Thor's Well, the surf rushes into the gaping sinkhole and then shoots upwards with great force. It can be viewed by taking the Captain Cook Trail from the Cape Perpetua Scenic Area Visitor Center, but it has been advised that for your own safety, stay well back, especially at high tide or during winter storms. Number 5. The Never-Ending Lightning Storm In western Venezuela over the Catatumbo River, there's something you probably have never heard of before. A storm that never ends. We know how that sounds the first time you hear that. Starting at 7pm every night, lightning crashes over the water for 10 hours, 260 nights each year. Nobody knows for sure why it happens. Up until recently, the leading theory was that it had something to do with uranium in the bedrock, although scientists are starting to doubt it. Today, the leading theory is a complicated one. It posits that the shape of the mountains causes warm winds to collide with cold air from the Andes. That collision is then fueled by the rapidly evaporating water below and methane from a nearby oil field. Nobody actually knows for sure why it happens. Everything about it is mysterious and creepy, including one moment in 2010 when it inexplicably stopped. One day, the storm just died down without explanation and seemed to be over. Then, after six weeks of silence, it sparked up again and has been raging ever since. Would you want to live in a place where there is lightning forever? Number 4. The Taos Hum The Taos Hum is as big and famous of a mystery as the Grand Canyon and the Egyptian pyramids. Some residents and visitors in the small city of Taos, New Mexico have for years been annoyed and puzzled by a mysterious and faint low-frequency hum in the desert air. Weirdly, only about 2% of Taos residents report hearing the sound. Some believe it is caused by unusual acoustics. Whether described as a whir, hum, or buzz, and whether psychological, natural, or supernatural, no one has yet been able to locate the sound's origin. According to a survey, those who claim to hear the sound actually hear many different sounds, suggesting the experiences may be subjective, not actually objective sounds. Number 3. St. Elmo's Fire St. Elmo's Fire is a beautiful release of barometrical power that commonly happens during a thunderstorm. At the point when a sharp item interacts with a remarkably high electrical field and an enormous number of electrons, the electrons can sparkle in different hues and shades of color similar to a neon sign, bringing about this uncommon wonder. The shade of the shine relies upon the kind of gas included. On the off chance that we lived in an environment of neon gas, at that point, St. Elmo's fire would be red or orange and lightning would be white with orange edges. Our environment is nitrogen and oxygen, and this blend sparkles blue or violet when presented to high voltage fields. These only occur during thunderstorms and it takes about 30,000 volts per centimeter of space to start a St. Elmo's fire. Elmo is an inference of St. Erasmus of Formia, one of the two patron saints for sailors. And with that, it is now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. Caño Cristales This picture is of the Caño Cristales River in Colombia. It's located in the Serrania de la Macarena province of Mera. The river is commonly called the River of Five Colors or the Liquid Rainbow and is noted for its striking colors. Caño Cristales was off-limits for decades while in the grip of guerrilla fighters but is officially back in business and welcoming more tourists than ever before. Most visitors come to this remote river canyon in the Orinoquia region to hike between the waterfalls and bathe in its natural swimming holes. While worth the trip in any season, the canyon is particularly beautiful in between July and November when the algae bloom turns the riverbed into a rainbow of colors. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Frozen Methane Bubble Lake They look like flying saucers that dropped into the water and froze, or ancient ice-condensed jellyfish. These icy circles are frozen methane bubbles that are pockets of gas that, when trapped underwater and frozen, form a spectacular landscape. They are found in high northern latitude lakes like Lake Abraham in Alberta, Canada. 
For a long time, the phenomenon was very shocking to even scientists, but then it was explained after a lot of research. These gas bubbles are created when dead leaves, grass, and animals fall into the water, sink, and are eaten by bacteria that expel methane. The gas is released as bubbles that transform into tens of thousands of icy white disks when they come into contact with frozen water. It's a stunning but potentially dangerous sight. This potent greenhouse gas not only warms the planet, but also is highly flammable. When spring comes and the ice melts, the methane bubbles pop and fizz in a spectacular release. But if anyone happens to light a match nearby, the masses of methane will ignite into a giant explosion. Curious travelers can see these gassy hiccups in lakes across Canada's Banff National Park or in the Arctic Ocean off Siberia where researchers have found gas bubbles as large as 900 meters across. That is our list of 10 incredible natural phenomenon which people don't believe in and think are fake. Which one would you like to visit? Tell us in the comments and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.